Hello, and welcome to a two-minute tour of the artwork in the Office of the Provost at Grand Valley State University. The artworks you see here were selected in collaboration with Provost Dr. Maria Cimatile and office support staff. Refreshing the artwork in this space was particularly exciting for us because the art gallery reports to the Office of the Provost. As a department, the art gallery collects and cares for, exhibits, and interprets visual art to foster experiential learning across the GBSU community. Upon entering the office, you're greeted by this mixed media painting by local artist Newell Friend. Newell is also featured in a video interview you can view on our webpage or YouTube channel. You can find a link to that in the description of this video, along with links to all the artworks you'll see here. In that interview, Newell discusses his creative process and the value of art in higher education. Some artworks in this space were selected with specific university initiatives in mind. This oil painting by Cheryl Budnick, for example, is inspired by the crashing of waves against the shore of Lake Michigan. This piece was selected with the Making Waves Initiative in mind, a university-wide initiative to create collaboration across campus with the goal of exploring and investigating the many ways that water touches our lives. To learn more about the Making Waves Initiative, visit gvsu.edu slash makingwaves. You'll also find hidden gems here, like this lithograph by Marc Chagall, the world-renowned Jewish-Russian-French artist who is most well-known as a pioneer of modernism. We also actively collect artworks by GVSU alumni, including this acrylic painting by Megan Stone, Class of 2012, and these copper and gold leaf vessels by David Huang, Class of 2001. Other artworks in this office were selected to cultivate political dialogue, like these drawings from the Young Flint Speaks series. During winter semester of 2016, GVSU graduate student Stephanie Smedley worked with students at Linden Charter School in Flint, Michigan, asking them to make artwork reflective of their reality living in the ongoing Flint water crisis. You can see more drawings by young people from Flint in the GVSU permanent collection online. And as you enter and exit the office, you'll notice this hand-carved limestone sculpture by Jason Quigno. Jason is a member of the Anishinaabe community in West Michigan. He uses simple lines to craft a sense of fluid movement. His inspiration comes from the stories and oral traditions of his tribe, and he seeks to keep those alive through his work. All the artworks here were selected to support the Division of Academic and Student Affairs by providing opportunities to interact with and respond to original works of art, which can inform social discourse, encourage civic dialogue, foster creative and critical thought, and provide avenues for personal reflection. Thank you for joining this two-minute tour. We encourage you to notice all the artwork across campus and to visit gvsu.edu slash art gallery to learn more.